problem solving at the breath of life. Understanding the intricate relationship between a child's brain, body, and sense systems is crucial for fostering mental health and self-awareness. Dr. Christopher K. Slayton's research delves into this complex interplay through what he terms the breath of life, a concept that shapes how children's neurological and sensory systems align from their earliest moments. This framework offers profound insights into why physical comfort and meaningful contact are fundamental to a child's emotional and cognitive development. At the core of Dr. Slayton's human system science approach is the understanding that children develop as feeling systems from the breath of life. When children experience positive physical contact, a warm embrace, a gentle touch, their brains establish crucial pathways for processing emotions. This sensory cognitive transfer allows them to redirect emotional flows through social interaction, particularly with caregivers. The implications are significant, when caregivers lead with signs of care, children can sense and feel the adult's brain in the lead of their body, fostering healthy emotional alignment and self-awareness through sense and receive path interplay. Conversely, when children feel deprived of meaningful contact, they often experience hurt that manifests in challenging behaviors. Dr. Slayton has extensively worked with children who struggle to cooperate, use hostile language, reject feedback, and demonstrate cyclical, self-defeating emotional reactions. These patterns indicate difficulties in transitioning from emotional reactions to reflective thinking. In human systems science terms, their brain is not in the lead of their body, physiological responses take precedence over conscious, reflective thought. This understanding transforms how we approach behavioral challenges, highlighting the need to talk to the child's brain, not the child's body and help them process experiences through signs of care. The practical applications of this research extend to homes, schools, neighborhoods, and workplaces. Dr. Slayton emphasizes safe environments for children to practice improving brain-body sense events, sensory seed path functions, contact at home, interaction at school, cooperation in neighborhoods, and participation in workplaces. His upcoming work, Human Systems Science and the Best Interest of the Child's Mental Health and Self-Awareness, 2025, elaborates on these concepts, drawing from analyses of responses from difficult, high-need, troubled, and special-needs children. This comprehensive approach promises to equip caregivers, educators, and professionals with tools to detect and address the crisis of self many children experience in today's complex world. Be sure to join Dr. Slayton live September 13, 2025, at 10 a.m. Hosted by Dr. Christopher K. Slayton, a.k.a. The Brain Talker, Unlocking Human Systems Science, A Path to Child Mental Health. Understanding the Physics of Self-Actualization. Realizing why the brain acts in the lead of the body to manage emotion and control thought. When a child feels deprived of contact, physical comfort becomes their lifeline. Discover how your embrace helps children process emotions and develop self-awareness in our latest episode on human system science. What's your go-to method for comforting a distressed child? You talk to the child's brain, not the child's body. Dr. Slayton reveals how emotional responses can block reflective thinking in children. Learn practical approaches to help children process difficult experiences through human system science. The way you physically comfort a child shapes their mental health development. Prepare yourself to explore how brain, body, and sense systems align from the breath of life and why your warm embrace matters more than you might think.